Because the Yukon Quest is the toughest sled dog race in the world, the organizers' top priority is the health and well-being of the canine athletes. Each year, 20 veterinarians volunteer to work on the race. The first official exam takes place one week before the start. This year, 416 dogs are examined, but only 364 of the healthiest dogs will be allowed to compete. Nina Hansen has been involved in the race since 2009. She is now in charge of the veterinary team. They're allowed to have 16 dogs examined, and then they start the race with 14, so that kind of gives them two alternates. So we'll get 16 dogs done in an hour between two veterinarians. They're generally very healthy dogs with no issues, so it's not like in a practice setting where you're examining a sick dog that someone brought in that maybe will take a lot longer, so they're all healthy dogs, and if they're not, we don't let them run. Jessica Heath has a clinic in Whitehorse. She's been involved in the race for many years. Uh, we're checking their body condition to make sure they have enough muscle mass and body fat stores to do well on a thousand mile race. Um, we're checking their skin to make sure that they don't have any frostbite or any wounds that might get infected. Um, we're checking all of their joints and legs to make sure that they're comfortable, they don't have any pain, uh, they don't have any lameness issues that are going to slow them down on the trail. Um, we're checking their heart and lungs to make sure that they're in good shape to, to run a thousand miles. We pair her in a four for body condition, so we just want her to eat like an alligator. Is she eating well right now? She's eating well right now okay. because I'm less training right now, okay. so she's better. Cool, so we just want to jam as much food into That's one of the dogs that it's hard. Yeah, she's one of those. She, yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. I have to uh, tricoter. All these dogs are fantastic, um, so they're in really good body condition. Um, these are probably the best pre-race dogs I've ever seen. Your average sled dog is thinner than your average pet dog at the start, um, but we don't want them to lose so much weight that they're not going to be able to finish. So if they don't meet our standard for um, weight at the start, we won't let them go. I got to say, I haven't seen a dog with a lameness a week before the race, because, you know, they train all year to get them in excellent shape prior to the start. During the examinations, veterinarians make sure that every dog has a microchip to prevent identification errors. Each exam is carefully documented in a book that travels with the team. Every dog has a couple of pages in that notebook, and that stays on the sled. And there's no guarantee you're going to see the same vet over and over. And then the next vet, if it's a different vet, will take that book, read through that, and know who they need to examine. And then that's part of their mandatory year, so they have to have that in their sled all the time.